Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Dr. Brian Fraser and we'll be showing how to create a linked list in C. I'm already inside what is a uh, Docker container running Linux, uh, but any Linux or in fact C system should be fine. Uh, I've created a little starter file, so I'm going to run this in NeoVim and load that up. And we can see we're just going to have our basic program to start. Uh, what we want to do here, and I'm going to write the main ideas here first, is um, we're going to start off with uh, maybe a create a linked list. This which is going to be the head of the linked list. Uh, we're later going to need to insert data. Insert some data. Then we'll print out the list. And finally we'll clean uh, clear memory. Or we'll free the memory, I guess I want to say here. Free memory. All right, so let's work this. What the first thing we need to figure out is the structure of our linked list. So each linked list is built out of a group of nodes. So I'm going to create a struct to hold that struct node, and each node is going to, in our case, let's just make it hold an integer in data, and then we need a pointer to the next one. So that's going to be a struct node star, and we'll call this one ne uh, next. Sounds good. Oh, and I have to add that. There we go. So this is the amount of uh, kind of code to get us started. We've got our simple uh, structure. Let's now create a um, uh, create the actual list. So to do so, we're going to need to create our pointer. So I'm going to make a struct, and I'm going to call this node, and it's a pointer. I'm going to call this one head equals null. So to begin with, we don't need any data there, we've got nothing inserted. So as we allocate more and more nodes, we're going to need to uh, kind of link it into our list here. So let's write our insert function first here. So let's call this one, uh, it's going to go at the end, so let's call it append. And the way we're going to want to do this is to append it to our list. So we'll have to pass in our list, the head, and then we'll pass in some data that we want. So we'll pass in 10 to start with. So that kind of defines what we want. Oh, undefined function, of course, so we need to write it. So undo that and put above here. So this is going to be a void function, append. It's going to be passed in a struct node star, which is going to be my list. And then we're going to have the data, int data. Now, when we import, imp, uh, so append something to our list, we're going to want to first make a new node and then link it in. So make new node, and then we're going to need to link into list. So let's make a new node. We're going to have our, I'm going to call this one, so it's a struct node, new node equals, and then we're going to call malloc on this. And I need to tell it to malloc the size of my uh, star new node. So this is using a little trick. We're saying that star new node, of course, is going to give us a node. And this size of will tell me how many bytes is in that new node. So this is a, a nice way to make this sort of scale nicely if we change data types or anything like that. That's a common idiom of, uh, of getting that. So when we make this, uh, we're going to need to now populate that. So I've got this new node. Um, I want to check. F I can check for So let's do that. If new node is equal to null, then malloc failed. Uh, and let's put that in here. P error uh, malloc failed. Uh, and then let's just exit the program. Uh, exit with um, exit failure. It's important to always be checking for these sorts of error conditions in C program. C is relatively unsafe, and so you have to make sure that you are checking all allocations, all function calls are working correctly. All right, so once we've uh, made the node, let's actually set up the data. So I'm going to initialize it. So here I'm going to say this is called new node, new node, and we'll set the data to equal data, and new node next, because this is going to go at the end of the list, it's going to be null. All right, so we've allocated this. We now need to insert it into the list. 
So to do this, we're going to need to find the end of the list and then add. Add our new node. All right. So to find the end of the list, we need to iterate through it. Um, we have our the list at the moment. Let's just use that and walk it through. So I can say while list is not equal to null. Oh, sorry, not list. Uh, well, I need to handle a couple things here, I guess. First off, is this the first element? So if the list is equal to null, then it's the first element. Hmm, else I'm going to loop through until I find that end node. So find the end. And up here, let's get rid of that. And this is going to be here. What are we going to say? This is going to be um, make this the first element. Now, again, I realize I got a challenge right here because if I simply said list is equal to new node, that'll be fine inside this function. But I need to somehow make this change the original. So I need to actually make this, instead of a list, a pointer to it, I need this to be a pointer to a pointer. I'm going to call this one plist. Uh, pointer to my list. And let's do that. Oh, here we need this to be, I'm going to be, uh, P list. P list. And I have to here say P, not just P list, but I need to say star P list, because I need to change that. One more thing is down here when I call it, I need to pass in the address of the head. And so now I'm passing in a pointer to my pointer, so I can actually change it in my function. All right, so now I'm changing it. I am setting this here. So in the first case, this looks like it might work relatively well. I guess I've already added it. So let me get rid of that line here. If it's the first element, I've already added it. Otherwise, I need to start to insert it into my list. To do that, I gotta find the end. So I'm gonna say while, hmm, whatever P list points to, We'll walk it through. Actually, let's not, not change our input parameter. Let's make our own new ones. So let's have a struct node, and I'm going to call this one current. Uh, current. Sure, I like that. Let's make it equal to the, the current one, which is star p list. So this is the current element we're looking at, the current node. So while current, when it's next value, so current.next, while it's not equal to null, means we're not at the end of the list yet, so move on. Current equals current next. Step forward. Now we know at the end, so we just link it in. So we can say current next equals to our new one, new node. All right. I think that that'll get us all the way we need to get to on that. So now we've got our structure to add an element to the node, to list. Of course, at the moment, we're not doing anything with it. Mm, let's, let's print out the list. Let's make that our next step. Uh, so let's just say print list. Print list. And I'm going to pass in. I don't need to pass it a reference because it's not well, a pointer to it because I don't need to change it. So I'm just going to say head. Print list. Uh, void print list. And it's going to take in a uh, struct node star, and this is going to be my list. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just print the list. So print f, the list is, and let's put it all on one line. Sure, let's do that. Uh, so while, hmm, I want to keep going through until I haven't got any more elements. So while, yeah, let's make it, let's not change our parameter either again. So struct node star, current, we'll do the same trick as before, equals list. While current is not equal to null, we'll print it out. Print, and this is going to be, let's print out our decimal value, and I'm going to put a comma there just to make it easy. 
and it's gonna be current and give me the data. And at the end of this, we need a line feed, printf slash n. All right, so we can print the list and it's great. We added one element, we're gonna print the list. I'm gonna write this. Oh, we got a couple issues up here. Let's have a look at this. Oh, nice. Thank you, thank you. C-U-R-R-E-N-T, I like it. And anything else that's showing me a problem? Nope, looks good. So I'm gonna write that to disk. I'm gonna go to my other prompt here. Here's my file, I'm gonna run clang on this file. Let's see what happens. It builds and it should give me a dot out. A dot out, and I'll run that. And wah, 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 I have a seg fault. Okay, so let's debug our seg fault. Is it giving me a core file? No, I didn't get a core file here. So first thing I need to do is have it generate a core file. I can run ulimit and it'll show me, I'm gonna run man ulimit. It'll tell me about how to set up core files. I'm gonna go search for core. Oh, right. Uh, hmm. Anyway, I went on ulimit. Is it ulimits? Ulimit minus C, and then I'm gonna say unlimited. And this should set it up so that when my program runs again, so here at no core file, I'm gonna rerun my ill fated program. And did it say oh, did it core? No. Oh, it didn't give me a core file. Hmm. Gotta check out why. So after a brief investigation, discovered that the tools I wanted are not installed on this uh, machine, but we'll just use an, op uh, an alternate way of uh, checking it out. So we've got it at the moment where if I run a.out, it segfaults. And what I've done is I've recompiled it now. I'll show you the progression here, actually. So let me just run clang again and linked. There we go. If I just ran this, a.out fails with no real output. If instead I run clang and I now pass in the sanitize, and I'll just start with that. So I'm going to sanitize equals address. Now when I run a dot out, it gives me some more information about what the problem is. And it'll tell me here that append is what was crashing. And it doesn't tell me any real information about what line numbers or anything like that, because I haven't built with debug information. So let me write it, build it here with debug information. So I'll put in a minus G and that'll build with debug information. And now when I run it, it tells me precisely the line number that's got the problem. So I've got an issue here where I am in append on line 26 and uh, unknown address. So it's trying to add access address eight, which is seeming to me to be a bit of a, either a bogus address or maybe a null pointer. So let's go back to our code here. And in fact, oh, now that I look at it, it's telling me here on line 27, it's suggesting here, because the uh, static analysis found it as well, that we have the next could get here. Let's see what was going on. So we're inside of our printing, or we're appending, pardon me, and we've already checked to see if my pointer is null, and then down here I'm taking current.next. So this current-next is our problem because current is null. So we're not checking if current is null, but how can we get here? Ah, up here we've already checked to see if the list reference or the pointer was null, but it's a pointer to a pointer. So what I want to do is I want to insert that. And now I think let's try that, writing that to disk, and let's rebuild. So I'm going to build it, rerun it, and well, we're better. We haven't crashed. We just kept printing out a whole bunch of tens. Let's see about why. So our printing is probably suspect here. Uh, we're printing out the data. Oh, we never move on to the next one. That's why. So I'm going to say here that we want to say current equals current dash next. And we're already checking to see if we're null at the top. So that should hopefully work. Let's rebuild, rerun. Oh, here we go, we got a memory leak. <clears throat> well, that's at least, well, I think we actually knew that. We finished the program, we printed out the list correctly, and then we're leaking memory. So maybe that's the last thing we need to do is we need to free our memory. So let's try, uh, yeah, why not? Let's free the memory here. So let's make a function, free memory, a free list. And let's pass in the head again. Now, in this case, 
I'm going to pass in a pointer to the head, just like before. What I'm going to do is I'm always going to zero out my pointers when I free them. So up here, let's make a void free list, and we're going to take a struct node. And this is a pointer to a pointer to a list, so I'm going to call it plist. And what do we got here? Uh, declaration of struct. Oh, note. Node. There we go. And now we're going to go through this. We've got to free everything as we go. So we'll do our usual uh, while the current. Well, we need a current here. So let's say struct node. And there's going to be a pointer to a current equals star p list while current is not null. We're going to need to free the one we're at and move on to the next, but we've got to do it in a careful order. So if I did it this way, if I said, for example, I want to free current and then current equals current dash next, that's going to be a use after free. So instead of us doing that, what we're going to want to do is move on. Yeah, then we don't even want to do that either. Hmm. Can't do that because we don't have the right information. Oops. Uh, put it afterwards. And let's go in here. We're going to create a new pointer. So this is going to be a struct node star next is equal to current dash next. We'll then free the current. And then we'll move on to next. And the last thing I want to do is I'm always going to free what I've got. I'm going to, uh, so we free the whole list, and I'm going to wipe out the pointer. So star p list equals null. Nulling out my pointers as I go is very powerful um, so that I don't end up with dangling pointers and use after free. Here, I'm going to be OK with that because immediately current is set to the next thing as we go. So I'm okay with that. And what do we got here? Uh, it says potential leak of memory pointed to by head. Head starts off as null. We allocate it. We then free it. Let's have a look here. We come in at free. Hmm. Write it. Actually, I'll write it. And there we go. So we go back over here. Let's rebuild. Rerun it. Hey, and that's looking pretty good. We didn't die. Let's go back into our code here and let's add in some extra comments here. So I'm going to, let's actually put a few of these in. And then put a line, a couple lines there. And let's add in a 10, a 20, a 30, and a 40, just so we know things are going in the right order. And I'm going to write out my file, compile, and run it. And there we go. So what have we done? We've written the traversal, we've written the allocation, and we finally did the free. Now, nicely, the main is all pretty straightforward, pretty clean. And if I look up here, each of these is a reasonably self-contained unit. A few lines of code doing some fairly straightforward uh, operations. If you ever get to the point where it's not very straightforward, it becomes quite difficult to try and debug it and to figure out what's going on. And as an added bonus, we debugged a segfault along the way. All right, thank you very much for watching. Take care.